Hello, my dear friends of the world, Paul the Trombonist here, and in this video, we're going to talk about articulation slash tonguing and how to go about practicing it so when it comes time for musical context, you're prepared. So don't go anywhere. All right, so we're talking about articulation. Just like in speech, when I'm speaking to you right now, I'm articulating in a certain way. If I was to not speak articulate, it would sound like this. You don't really understand what I'm saying because it's not articulate. And the same thing goes with playing an instrument. You gotta be articulate. So what we do is we isolate these little articulation exercises to make sure everything in the detail inside it comes across when we use it in a musical context. So there are many ways to approach it and there are many ways of articulating articulating uh, notes on your instrument. In fact, there's an infinite number of ways to articulate. You got different syllables. You got two, you got ta, you got da, you got ka, you got goo, you got ti, you got ku, you got dugu, you got ta ka, doddle, doodle, deedle. All of these are used on the instrument. I've heard them used by many people. So you kind of find the articulations you like to gravitate towards that you like to use. When we first learn our instrument, many of us learn the syllable two. That's a very go-to, no pun intended, articulation that we use on our instrument, two. So there are many uh, different types of articulation exercises. The one I like to use, I like to practice a short tongue on the syllable two and also on the syllable ta and I like to practice a longer tongue on the syllable do and da. That's what I use. So let's just start there. Okay. The way I approach them is I like to alternate between the short tongue to the long tongue. So you're kind of maximizing the mileage within the same exercise. I'll show you an example. So first I will go ta uh, for my short articulation and then I will do da. So check it out. Oh, first, just remember to use a metronome. I don't have it set up right now for sake of time, no pun intended again, but use a metronome when you do these, please. So I do that through all seven positions and I'm alternating. And you can even start on the long tongue too and do the opposite as well. I do that as well. That's the ta going to the da. Now let's hear what the two going to the do sounds like. So we isolate these. We practice them at all different tempos. We do them at all different tempos because music happens in all different tempos. So that's how you practice them. And if it's a little bit of a challenge for a certain articulation, just stay on one note. I'll just stay on one note, you know, if it's like a little bit crazy and I want to get it a little perfected. Let's say an articulation I may not be as comfortable with, maybe let's say ka, okay? So I'll just go in first position till I get it comfortable. And I'll do that till I get it sounding how I want it to sound, okay? So many articulations, many different ways to approach it. I recommend doing them all because every single articulation works on different section of the tongue, strengthening different sections of the tongue muscles. So to have a very in control, awesome tongue, you're gonna to wanna to practice a lot of different articulations because then that overall is gonna give you more flexibility in the tongue to articulate your ideas. And then you, what you end up doing is you can mix and match all of your different articulations. So what I'll do is I'll just improvise, um, just mix in and match in some different articulations so you can hear what that would sound like. Thank you. 
So that's how it goes. I wrote out uh, all the ones that I do and how I organized it in my practice routine, how I'm switching them off and how I go from different ones. I wrote it all out for you. It's in my method book, Trombone Exercises That Will Make You a Great Player. So if you want to take your trombone playing to the next le level, that's available for you. It's paulthetrombonist.com slash books, or you can just hit the little description in here. And I have all the important elements of trombone playing chapters in this book with clickable video links to help support the content. So the chapters include long tones, you know, flexibility, lip slurs, major scales, arpeggios, chromatic, chromatic, slide technique, alternate positions, low range builder, high range builder, trills, drop vibrato, slide vibrato, turns, pedal tones, mouthpiece exercises, getting back into shape after taking a long break and warming down exercises, my thoughts about everything, all in here. Trombone exercises that will make you a great player. I appreciate you all tremendously. If you're new here on the Paul the Trombonist channel, I welcome you. If you've been returning, man, thanks so much for returning. That means so much to me. I appreciate you all so much. If you find any value in this content, why don't you hit a little subscribe or turn on notifications or hit a little like, leave a little comment. And from Banana and myself, we appreciate you. Signing off.